In this video, I will explain how to create RFC destination. To perform this experiment, you need to have two different SAP systems. Let us see how we can create RFC destination. So this is my Windows Server 2008 system. In this, I have installed SAP Network software three times. That is DAS, PRD, QAS. So let me do this particular experiment using DAS system and QAS system. I'll create RFC destination within this DAS system to RFC destination to QAS system. So first of all, let us log on to the QAS system. What user is available in that particular system? So let us log on to QAS system and using client triple nine and user account is SAP user and its password. So it successfully log into the system. That means we can use this particular login information while creating RFC destination within DIS system. Now let us log on to DIS system. So DIS system, you can create RFC destination in any of the client. So once you create RFC destination, that RFC destination is available for all the clients. Okay, so let us log on to the system using 001 client using DDIC user account and its password. So let us open the function using menu path tools, administration, administration, network, ESM15 and RFC destinations. Double click on that function. So that the initial screen of configuration of RFC connections will be displayed. So from here, so expand ABAP connections. So these are all the already available RFC destinations. So if you want to create new RFC destination, you have to click on create button. Click on create button so that you will get the RFC destination screen. From here, you can enter the RFC destination name. The naming convention can be used like this. The destination SID, destination SAP system SID, that is in our case QAS and the client, client shortcut name CLNT and to which client, triple line client. So if you follow this type of naming convention, it will be very easy to understand what that name denotes. That means this name denotes an RFC connection to QAS SAP system and in that SAP system client triple nine. Okay. So by seeing this name only, you can understand to where we are connecting. Okay. Once you provide RFC destination name, just go to connection type. Connection type is three. You can also use this possible options button to select the three. That is three means three, three belongs to connection to ABAP system. We are going to connect to the ABAP system. Just double click on that. So that three will be displayed here. And also you should provide destination information. So destination can be like this RFC destination to QAS SAP system client 999 okay once you provide destination information just click on the save button from the standard toolbar to save this information as soon as you click on the save button under technical settings tab you will get remaining details to enter the technical settings and click on the save button so that it will display and it will give us the option to give the target host. The target host in our case is NW7 EHP1. Just you can find out that information from here. What is the host name of the QA system? NW7 EHP1. And system number is that is instance number is 03. And system number is 03. Once you provide these details, you can switch between host name 
and IP address so that IP address will be resolved like this host name and IP address and also it resolves the fully qualified domain name of the host name okay and once you provide this you can click on the save button and you can perform connection test that means it will contact the target system and it will give the test results that is it is if it is successfully passed the test results will be like this if there is an error it will give different screen like let us do that experiment by providing wrong host name here like i am putting just one here just click on the sorry not not one here just put one here and click on the save button and click on the connection test it should give the error like this this is the actual example of the error so because we have provided wrong host name here that's why it is giving error so again i have corrected it just click on the save button now do the connection test so that it should give the successful result okay so in this way you can do the connection test and also you have to provide logon and security information to log on to the destination system directly from here just provide that login and security information here by clicking on logon security tab and put the client information that is triple nine and the user account is sap user and the password is its password once you provide these details and if you click on the save button just observe that password status now it is initial once you click on the save button from the standard toolbar it should be changed to saved okay just click on the save button and click on the continue button so like this saved okay so in this way you can save the login and security information so that it is ready to connect to ready to log on to the destination system so let us do the authorization test using utilities and test authorization test that means it it will log on to the remote system with without logging on to the remote system it will check the authorization means whether this particular user whatever the user we have uh, you have saved here whether that user is able to log on to the system or not it will check and it will give the result okay so just click on the authorization test if it is successful it should give the successful information if there is an error it should give the error just go back and provide wrong password here or wrong user account here and click on the save button and do this repeat the same test okay again log on data change password initialized okay and click on the save button and go to utilities test and authorization test so like this the error has been displayed okay so let us correct the error that is change the username to back and the password is this and click on the save button click on continue so now if you test it it should give the successful result authorization test like this okay let In this way, you can create RFC destinations in any system. I hope you understood. If you have any questions, you can ask me by going to my website that is www.punarvasi.com and you can leave your message using contact us form directly. Thanks for watching.